Ah, I bet you didn't see me expect to see me back again so soon, did you? <laughs> uh. Well, well, Samurai Snake is still currently occupied M. by I. other matters. Uh, obviously, he's not meant to be starting until at least 12, so we decided in our executive board over at Discord that we should probably try and see if we can squeeze something in. So I decided upon JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which is a game I haven't played in years, but we should have quite a bit of fun with it. Uh, let me just make sure I've actually got the sound on. So uh, go ahead and plop on the Alexa Central. <laughs> Is this game a JoJo reference? Um, almost entirely. <laughs> it is, but the very basis. Uh, now we won't worry about that. Alrighty, so hopefully this has been updated since, otherwise... We've got otherwise an update got... bar for a couple of minutes. <laughs> otherwise we've got a nice riveting bar crawling across the screen, the most riveting of livestream content. <laughs> well, we're checking trophy data. Now, Falk, now, I don't know how you can do this subtly, but someone needs to change the background on the stream. Uh, I do, yes. Uh, hold on <laughs> just a moment. I can do that now. That is literally pretty damn easy to do. There you go. How's that for you? As if by magic. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're going to do some story, and uh, for some reason, Darby, you don't actually play in this game, but he points at you. Um, let's set the difficulty down a little bit lower just to uh, give us a fighting chance. Uh, time limit on, SC gauge, yada 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 yada. Uh, that is for story, yes? It is for story, good. Uh, we don't want that. Alright, here we go. So apparently this is the character select for uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's very, uh, very fancy. In like a few sentences, what can you say about JoJo for someone like me who has no idea anything about it? Uh, people Except pose, people they punching. punch each other a lot, and it's still kind of awesome and has some of the best opening themes ever. Pretty cool. much, yeah. Does it have anything else going for it? Uh, no, it's just genuinely awesome. Alright, so uh, we can go for uh, part three. Jotaro, or we can go for part 4 Jotaro, and there's a few other Jojos in between as well. Uh, go for part 3. Go for part 3. Yeah, might as well keep it nice and clean and vanilla and that, just so it's like representative of the actual story. Because I don't need no time paradoxes here. Uh, I see you're all about the canon. Oh uh, yes, they give you some uh, background story as well, just to, uh, just in case you haven't seen Jojo before, and I suppose to, um, appease those who have. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about the general art style here. Like, I know that the PS3 version does have that median feel over it, which kind of mushes all the colours together. I, I have actually tried emulating the PS1 version of this before. It, like, it looks a lot sharper there. I imagine yeah. that on the PS3 one you can kind of get different filters than that, but we're going to the last minute here, so... You get what you're given. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, right, Daddy. Just to uh, clarify, I have no idea what I am doing in this game. I am just winging it as best I can. Uh, I think you meant to beat the dude, so. <laughs> but yeah, here, first up, we do have the initial fight between Jojo and Avdol. And yeah, I swear some of the colors got changed around quite a bit, like between the different adaptations. I think they did. Like, I swear I don't remember Avdol's, like, over-gown thing being that colour, but then, I suppose, given these are all adaptations of a manga, there's going to be some creative artistic licence from time to time. But, yes, folks, in terms of JoJo stuff, while well, we've got you here, we actually have a bid war going on for one of our other runners, Tanner, that's a good boy, 18,000, who will be playing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle later on in the marathon. He has a bid war going on for the different JoJo anime OPs. He's going to sing one of them for us on stream. But we're raising money here, and whichever one gets the highest number of donations will be the one he goes with. With Great Days, the third part four OP currently winning. If you want to support that, then donate for that. If not, then 
feel free to drop some money for your JoJo OP of choice, and mm -hmm. he'll sing the one with the most donations. As for where we're playing this for the next five, like we're still waiting for Snake. Like he's, you know, running. We're running ahead, so he wasn't prepared in time. But when X5 does happen, um, it will be soon. Yep, yeah, that should be soon. Yep, yeah. <laughs> this is officially 16.5 in the Sunny Fun playlist. But yeah, when when that does happen, we do have some incentives going on for Mega Man X5. So there's the different armors. So black armor zero, black zero armor. Even if I could learn to talk. We want a hundred dollars for that. That's at zero, so it'd probably take a big donation to get that up now. <laughs> zero over hundred. But Ultimate Armor X, that's actually at sixty-five dollars out of a hundred, so we might be able to get that one. And also the Awakened Zero ending, that's currently at seventy-six, so that's Ooh. even higher. And the bid war for uh, Mega Man X5 is which character Snake will start as. So currently X is winning. Actually, no, zero was winning. Zero overtook it while I was away. I've just had to refresh. Um, but yeah, so zero is winning by four dollars. So if you want to bump up X, then you know you can maybe let him overtake. Or if you want to give zero some safety, then you can put another donation in for zero. And ultimately, when Snake starts the game, that's when we'll be calling off the bid war. So yeah. Well, that one. Yeah. The armor ones are valid up until uh, uh, zero stage three, I believe. I just love how just Dio just suddenly appears in the middle of the countdown screen, just like, yes, I am also here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just random Dio, because why the fuck not? And now we got to deal with uh, Kakyoin, who actually has, I believe, at least two or three different variation. Including the uh, one where he gets uh, copied by... I can't remember which one it was, it was the yellow dude. I have a feeling Dio will be showing up quite a bit in this uh, charity marathon. Oh, we have got more shows later on. Check out the second And uh, another game that has uh, Dio in it. I'm not following it, but... Uh, I'm just reading in chat right now, Hill Dash is saying if you're all tired, go with bloody stream. I just had the thought that if all of them end up with the same, will does that mean Tanner will have to sing all of them? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a goal. <laughs> Indeed. Man. My lack of experience with this game is actually starting to show. <laughs> yeah, it's well. actually a lot harder than you would uh, expect. This is one of those areas of games where they don't exactly uh, mess around. Yeah, I do remember having a bit of a like hard time adapting to this game. Cause, like I say, emulating it, so I probably didn't have a control setup anyway, like I played. But <laughs> but it is quite a difficult game, and they do read you quite well. Hence why I turned down the difficulty a tidge just beforehand. <laughs> I love Kakyoin's hair in this. He has some amazing hair. Well, I mean, like just the coloration of it is just like that hot pink. <laughs> Oh, uh, Tom, uh, oh, Tom is saying in between rounds, turn yourself up a bit, one to two, like, decibel, and me and Mia down by one. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Does he have, because he have, ah, apparently he has Zawardo. Uh, apparently, oh, actually, forward, medium, light, forward, stand. Alright, apparently me and Mia will be fine if we stop shouting, so it's just a case of turning you up a little bit. I can do oh, that. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That'll sort that out. Alright, let me see if I can at least pull off Zawardo. <laughs> Yeah, this is like some fucking, like, clusterfuck. How are we meant to have Star Platinum Zawardo already? Yeah, they've uh, kind of messed it up a little bit. Well, I think I was just about to do it, but I got interrupted. Maybe I have to knock him down first and then try it. Hmm, possibly. Uh, let me see if I can uh, do something about that. Come on, get down on the floor. Everybody wants to Zawardo die you! <laughs> Uh. Zawardo! <laughs> yes! You done it! Yes, I did it! Mura! Mura is oh, ass! So <laughs> did you go, uh, Holy shit, that's hype! Hell that. yeah! <laughs> oh shit! That's the good shit right there. <laughs> that is so um, yeah. Still makes no sense in terms of the story, but hey, it's a fighting game. <laughs> 
It's not supposed to make sense. The fact that you can just do it <laughs> is all the hype you need. Yeah. Just as long as we don't end up with her from Crane like climbing through us like he did in the fucking series, because that was <laughs> creepy. Yeah, no kidding. So you mean you're controlling her from? Yep, from her <laughs> vagina. Yep. <laughs> 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 Jesus! Welcome to Jojo. <laughs> you caught me in a bad mood today, Kakyoin. For everyone knows it's Tuesday, and Tuesday is Fajita Night. But it's <laughs> first day! <laughs> Die! <laughs> oh, we're not getting the little... So there we go, at this point of the story you realize that Dio is being controlled by a serious case of head herpes, which you then remove with your stand. And um, as thanks, he decides to join you against Dio, and of course, dear old Mumsy is uh, put into a uh, self-induced coma to protect herself against Dio and his evil magic. Yeah, uh, this is where Kakuin spends most of the story doing sweet fuck all. Hell yeah, that's the pose! <laughs> uh, I love this game. <laughs> Even though I have no idea how to actually play it, I love it. This new version's actually pretty damn well done. Ah, oh, that's good. I, I see we're skipping over the part where Joseph crashes another plane. <laughs> <laughs> fucking piranhas! <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a shark in the volcano? <laughs> oh, that bit is amazing. <laughs> that just Wait, entire plane in scene. It's just like the best way to introduce someone to Jojo, because they have no idea what the hell's going on. Yeah. Oh, this is the guy with a little puppet thing in it. That is indeed correct. Oh yes, I remember this fucker. What the fuck's up with his tongue in that sprite? <laughs> We're getting some serious button mashing going on here. <laughs> Especially me trying to figure out like what each direction does, because obviously... It seems like a meat of a combo system, exactly just chaining a couple of button presses to a special move, but each direction gives you like a different punch, especially if you have your standout, so it's all about understanding what your normals are to help you hopefully chain together combos later. Ah, we'll see. I kind of want to word out him again. Yeah. yeah, Holy Sand is basically Hermit Purple. I don't know whether it has its own name or not, but it shows the same sort of signs. I think the story was that she just couldn't properly control the stands and that's why it was eating away at her if I recall correctly. Son of a bitch! How dare you? You know what, for that? Zawano! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Done it again. Yep. Oh, nice. <clears throat> This game uh, looks interesting, even though I don't know much about Jojo except that it's I want to know how to do a special Muda, so that I can throw that in whilst I got Zawerno going on. But apparently I have to do two attack buttons, but I don't know which two attack buttons I have to press, or if there's a specific attack I need to press. I'll find out sooner or later. If I can throw that in whilst I got Zawerno going on. I believe once you got the world active, you actually have, technically speaking, unlimited um, bar, so... If you can throw as many of those out as possible, you can get some major damage in. According to Big Battle, you can do supers while you're in time stop, so that's probably how you do more cool shit there. And uh, suddenly Polnareff is here, even though we didn't really get introduced to him proper. And uh, yeah. now we've got Iggy, who is also in this game, as a playable character. Oh, they brought him in pretty quick. Yeah. Like, uh, I would say uh, I really do like Iggy. <laughs> of course, Iggy is just as um, derogatory as he has been. Mm. Oh yeah, there he is, humping Polnareff's face. <laughs> no, Iggy is not fucking scrappy Do. Fuck off, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> scrappy Do. Oh, for Pete's sake. Now, this fight, if it goes south, it could be the be all and end all. Hey. I hate you. <laughs> 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 uh. So we gotta try and make our way over to uh, this dude within the time limit. Avoiding yeah, so hazards in the way, there's Kakyoin just dead on the floor for some reason. 
Yeah, Kakuin being about as useful here as he is in the series. <laughs> well, I don't know, he did have that one crowning moment just before he kicked the bucket in the world. Yeah, but, you know, that's his one moment. <laughs> Everything else is just there, he's like an even gay Adobe Bowie somehow. <laughs> anyway, so we've got to fight through all these water monsters, Scopey, oh, a blind dude, right? I love that strut. <laughs> <laughs> Jojiro uh, is truly the manliest of men. I seem to recall in this game... <laughs> oh, that, son of a bitch! I was yeah. literally right next to his ass. I seem to recall in this game that old Joseph has his running animation, you know, the running away animation that he had in part two in the anime. Alright, let's see if we can catch up to him this time. Now, it seems like he can get a lot more speed by uh, doing his running jump. And um, probably not get hit by the water every time. <laughs> uh, it gets particularly hard towards the end. Yeah. Oh god, and literally just Pothole just spawns right underneath him. Thanks for that. That's fair. <laughs> Alright, no, that's fine, I'm on the other side. <laughs> Prototype gear says it seems more like the alley card strut. <laughs> uh, well, no, because we're facing the right direction. Although, actually, I did just see you do a bit of the show room and walk in, so. Eh, I see it. Ah! Punch him in the face and he's done! <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, early, early, early does it. <laughs> oh god, yeah, we had the problem bleeding out the mouth as well, that was hype. <laughs> I love those little transitions. <laughs> You know, yeah. one thing they got right when they released this game on the PS1, because even though not many people knew what the fuck JoJo was at this point, they nailed the style of it. Mm. Pretty much bang on. <laughs> JoJo wins yeah. by beating a cripple. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Anubis next, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Or Cha-Cha. Or Chaka. I forget, do you get the pet shop fight in this? Uh, yes, there is a pet shop fight in this as well. Oh, Although fuck, I'm not yeah. sure if it's exclusive to E Story, I just know that pet shop is in this game. It might be. That's like my fi favourite fight from JoJo, the Iggy vs. Pet Shop. It doesn't help that Pet Shop himself is a cheap piece of shit in this game as well. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember knowing that he's broken as fuck. Pet Shop's apparently banned in turn play. I'm not surprised. Yeah, well, because he just sits at the top of the screen all day and you can't actually do anything about it unless you're also Pet Shop. <laughs> yeah, just good balancing. Well, that's the thing with fighting games. They don't always need to be balanced. In fact, having a game that's too balanced could actually inherently be a bad thing because then it just ends up not really being fun. It just becomes... 50-50s and god knows what else. You gotta have a little bit of inbounds in there just to keep things interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure to what extent I'd agree with that, but like... No, I mean, I... obviously you can go heavily over and uh, just completely kill the idea just outright, but the idea of having a... just like, going a little bit ham is mm. great for the sake of keeping the game interesting. Yeah, I get ya. And obviously, suppose... uh, the sake of balance usually can be remedied by a uh, Obviously patches, you know, rotating things around to keep things interesting, you know, keep people guessing and uh, staying in the lab to try out new things. Mm. Alright, let's see if I can do some water on him. Alright, let's get some distance. There mm. we go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah! <laughs> like having a freaking time stopping a fighting game, yeah, I think... <laughs> Will this be enough? Maybe everyone's just got their bullshit move. Oh, not quite enough. But that's okay. No. We'll give him the finger. They wrap him up. Perfect imbalance. Uh, thank you, Axel. That's a good term. Is that like the term or just a term? I think it's pretty much a term that was coined by a couple of people. And I guess it's just what the majority of people use nowadays. No, fair play. Yeah, you know, not the sake of like one-hit KOs, but obviously you like, have some powerful abilities and all that malarkey. 
It's like a tier list sort of deal, isn't it? Though? Just oh, like there's a point to say with having too much imbalance, there is a point to be made about having too much balance as well. Hmm. Uh, yes, this guy. Ailsie, or is it Alessi? Mm. Alessi, I think. Alessi. With the strange taffy monster that lives in the shadows. <laughs> That's another weird fighting game, Clay Fighter. Oh no! I am but a wee toddler! <laughs> oh, that's okay, I'm back again. Yeah, I remember this dude being... Yeah. <laughs> and he has Pretty a gun as well, so. great. Hey, that's always a good one to be facing off against, that. <laughs> that reminds me of the final fight of Streets of Rage 2 where Mr. X just takes out a gun and starts shooting you. Oh, unless he has... This guy might be Alessi. tricky. Unless he has uh, Joseph's run as well, doesn't he? He does. The, uh, the ever-famous running away technique. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought that was meant to be a ghost, I think. Ah, oh, I was about to get the word off when he shot me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Gun beats time manipulation. Apparently. And this dude is being a right dick at the moment. Ugh. Ooh. Okay, I was trying to get it off, but uh, he beat me to the punch. Nah. All right, let's try again. I'm starting to get a little bit used to how uh, Jotaro actually works. Mm. I haven't Looks actually like managed champion. to find any combos yet, is the only problem. Yeah. Looks like it's ramping up the difficulty a little bit as well. Yeah, there is a bit of that going on as well. Actually, when I remember playing this game years ago, a character I used quite a lot in the end was Whole Horse. And it was one yeah. of the few times in a video game, or at least a fighting game in particular, where I was actually quite proficient at using a zoning character. Alright, oh, uh, yeah, Hulk I'm not sure how I feel about him as a character, because he, he was one of them sort of just keep showing up sort of characters, weren't he? No, I just remember in the Abridge series where he had Whole Horse as his introduction, and it's just like, Hey, Grandad, I just found the asshole who's been stealing all our screen time. Oh, Grandad's about to be some ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Oh, he even has like the toddler auras as well. That is amazing. I keep losing to Starman in uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Good for you. And yes, I'm keeping an eye on the donations and stuff as well. Good. Come on, guys, get donating if you want to, or share the word, or. Get hyped for surprise Jojo. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Do it for Jojo. God damn, I want that part five adaptation already. You and Tom, especially, I believe. <laughs> yeah. And this guy's a ranged attack in particular is a bit of a ball like. Well, it's because he's got the projectiles, and it? It's making it that bit more irritating. Yeah, it makes it very, very difficult to get the word out. Mm. Yeah, you might get crushed again here. Eh? That's okay. I was expecting it to take a few attempts, so it's all good. We'll just go on as far as we can until our snake is ready. Yeah, Tiger Mike says use your meter. Yeah, I'm trying to, but I can't work out, well, apart from the uh, Zawerdo, what else to uh, use that meter on or how much meter I need. Tom says, stop jumping into him, you ain't Spider-Man, this ain't Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Shit boy, it's motherfucking Jojo. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, son of a bitch. And I'm dead. RIP. <laughs> Rest in pieces. Uh, that other guy, uh, All-Star Battle, he's going to be on the 25th 
I still believe it's the 25th, let me check. Uh, yeah, 25th. This is just like an extra game that we put in because we needed to, you know, give Snake a little bit more time to get home. Ah, there we go. That's the good shit right there. Alright, can we do that again? Apparently not. Alright, but I at least figured out how to do the uh, special auras. The one that gives you that awesome. 20 hit combo. If I could combine that with the world. The world. Is that what I would do? The very same. You'd be surprised. Like. Uh. Polk, Axel always saying, Son created Caesar's Apelli for Mugen, and when he loses, he gets crushed by a rock, followed by Joseph yelling, Caesar, and then Raya doing a monologue. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, up to. Oh my god, it's so difficult to get in on him when he's using that damn ranged attack. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy is giving me some great fun, isn't it? Ooh. Fuck you, Alessi. <laughs> Ooh, nearly got him that time. Ooh, that's a good combo. It's great, I can play me Bean Machine and it'll sound like I'm commentating on the game that you're playing. <laughs> How thoughtful of you. <laughs> <laughs> to get through that. Oh shit, that was my... It does so much chip damage as well. Uh, Tiger Mike saying right charge punch is quarter circle back and he does absurd damage. <laughs> Ooh, and then punched in the sack. Ow. I'm trying to figure out things here in terms of if I could, like, combo two different specials together. I'm thinking if I could do some Wordo whilst he's doing hit, well, midway through the punches. Mm. I suppose if you can pull off the Zawodo thing and then, like, use your supers. So I'm just trying to gauge what people in chat are saying. It's a learning experience. Damn it. Uh, Tiger Mike says you can't do Zoroldo in the middle of getting hit. Yeah, that's a huge start. Uh, it's not really that great of a move. It's not really that great of a move just for style, really. <laughs> but I like style. <laughs> I like yeah. it too much. That's my issue. I like style too, but I also want you to win. Oh, trust me, I do too. <laughs> Give up the style then. <laughs> well, I have an idea. Alright. Punch the shit out of him! Yes! Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay. Win this. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> nice one. Good Honestly, job. I think Dio's Zawado has a lot more style because you can just throw loads of daggers and then finish it off with the road roller. Oh, yeah. You do insane amounts of damage. It's great. <laughs> Sweet. Right, where are we going to now? I believe this is where Anya was, possibly. Hmm. Or well, this is Dio's actual mansion. I know the uh, person with the magnetism is a character that appears in the game. You know, the oh, one, her. The one that yeah. inflated her boobs suddenly, to which Joseph responded with, <laughs> That was fucking great. <laughs> like, that was like, my I think it was, the, that was a two-parter, and they were like some of my fucking favorite episodes from Star I Scrum absolutely then. loved that. That was amazingly done. But this will either be that character or probably Iced. I can't remember who Cream was. Was Cream 
their name for vanilla rice or so I can I'll get them confused when because like you know the English translations are bizarre mm. oh it's this dude yeah it is indeed iced uh, yeah him good point Joe I never fought vanilla rice <laughs> Oh yeah, Cream was finally nice to stand. Makes sense. Oh, apparently Derby the game is only in Super Story mode. Son of a bitch, avoided it. I just realised we didn't get to take on the amazing battle that was Billie Jane. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Ah, we broke his stand. Now's the time to get. Ah, oh, I thought this would have been the point we can get some damage in, but apparently not. Oh my God, that was some damage. Oh, <laughs> Sean Wright trying to say, "Folk, this may be a bizarre question." Does your ha left hand happen to be your right hand? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's another funny scene in the uh, anime, in the uh, yeah. Bridge series. I feel oh, like well. playing a little game. Simon says, touch your nose if you've got two right hands. You touch your nose, Enya, that makes you <laughs> Alfredo Glande. <laughs> <laughs> My god, that's great. Ah, punch the shit out of him! And do it again! Punch the shit out of him! And again! Oh, we don't need to do it again, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Axel says I'm trying to remember, but I think there's a dodge button in this game. There is? That's my moment. Axel, if you could... Oh, apparently there's not a cool to type in my... Oh, Axel... the shoulder button seems to do something. I thought the shoulder was to, like, either draw in or draw out the stand, or, that, or is that something else? No, the X button draws out the stand. Ah, oh, okay. Ooh, all right, this guy's going to take some uh, figuring out. <laughs> Since he's you constantly going inside of a damn thingamajig. <laughs> he's sunlight on him. <laughs> yeah, that would be the simplest solution. Unfortunately, there's no bring the sun. Just throw a bottle of Sunny D at him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another fight they skipped over, isn't it? The, the sun stand. I think um, the different characters do actually fight the... Uh, people that Jotaro doesn't get the chance to. Oh, right. Because this is indeed story mode, after all. That was a weird arc, that one with the song, wasn't it? Alright, was Ah. Come on, get down here. And punch you. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I suppose at least that swooping attack looks fairly predictable. Oof. Yeah, I got him! Nice. <laughs> Just ball tapped him. Good job. Maybe punching the dick is a bit too blatant for a stand, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. That's how we do it. <laughs> and this is my stand dick in the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that looked painful. <laughs> so he was a vampire after all. No shit. <laughs> we punched him into the sunlight. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> And of course, since we fought Ice, Polnareff uh, got his life saved due to different reasons. Ah. Uh, has Avdol died again yet? Yeah, Avdol's died again, I believe, at this point. Cool. I think now we're actually nearest the Dio fight, if we're not there right now. Ah. Oh yeah, this is the point where uh, Avdol dies, because he's in the coffin. Oh yeah. 
But no, it is Nukasaku, apparently, this time around. Hmm. Oh, this is a Titan guy. And there he is, Dio Brando himself. Cool. The man like who that. sounds like Tim Curry. I, Dio. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, oh, yeah, so the conclusion of the arcade mate is going to be the Cairo fight. No, granddad! <laughs> Seven hope... granddad. No, man. Yeah. I sure hope no one throws hundreds of knives soon. <laughs> he probably will, he does actually have that special attack. Oh, oh yeah, I'll be just there. Ah! Sorry. Oh, those classic sound effects. Love it. Motherfucker is taunting me, how dare you? Have a punch to the face. Does he have the steamroller in this? Uh, yes, he does. Fuck yeah. And he has eye lasers apparently as well. Um, I guess they, they were using a bit of creative artistic glass and all that. Alright. <laughs> the animations on Zorod are pretty all over the place, I'm not gonna lie. I suppose this does work as a finale, because I take it that like, he uh, shares a lot of movesets and shit with Star Platinum. He does. Well, they are meant yeah. to be similar types of stand. Mm. You may know if... Have I'm a taste of your own shot. medicine, bitch! <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> that was stylish as fuck! <laughs> Oh shit, how I just saw it. Hell yeah, that was amazing. Uh, now he's Super Dio. Uh. Is that what happens when he gets all the Chaos Emeralds? <laughs> no, just when he drinks the blood of a Joe Star through his fingertips, apparently. Gains the power of steamrollers and Good having one. no shirt. You already have that, given you know he's using Jonathan's body. Well, he does, but obviously we kind of kick the shit out of him, so. Ah, good point. <laughs> it's mega ultra David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> I always see more Bowie and Kikuin. Uh, yeah, guys, in the chat, like, just post what fighter do you want to see Vogue play through next? Because we've probably got time. I saw Pet Shop first, so I'm hoping that there will be a consensus there. Ah, get your punch shit and kicked it again! <laughs> Ow. Alright, we just need to punch him in the face one more time. Just one more time. Ah! Eat it! Um. Bugger. That's how we do it. We didn't get nearly as stylish a finish as we did on the regular deal, but I'll take it. Uh, oh, I can't be! How could I lose? Because we're Sonic heroes. Yeah, Ultras is pretty fun too. Dio is obviously very fun if you can get the road roller off of. I'm torn between Dio and Pet Shop, in all honesty. Pet Shop, Pet Shop. Alright, I'll show you all how cheap Pet Shop is. Nice. Well, if he's selectable in the story, that is. If not, then I can show him off just on the outside, I suppose. Ah, cool. It's kind of nice that we've got nearly 100 people watching just an impromptu JoJo's Bizarre Adventure stream whilst we wait for Snake to get ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 90. <laughs> okay, uh, Tom's saying, Jotaro, Pet Shop, Dio, and one other. So, guys, if you want to pick that one other, just bicker among yourselves and chat, and we'll see if a consensus arises. <laughs> Your old timer and his cheap grandson. I won't forget <laughs> that. <laughs> uh. 
See, at least Jotaro was a lot more subtle about his diss. <laughs> Okay, that's a good way of doing it. So I'm saying the first person to donate forty dollars gets to pick the full story we play through. That's a good idea, yeah. Well, let me see if I can get an idea of what stories are actually playable. Yeah, show show people the character select screen. Uh, we could probably skip the credits. You guys, we've established that Tom has a stand. It's one more time. <laughs> That guy. Chaka. Debo. Uh, that lady. Pet shop. <laughs> Squaw! <laughs> <laughs> and there's Whole Horse. Pet shop is best character. Ah, there's the magnet woman. <laughs> and then there's Spoopy Polmoreff for some reason. Because Spoopy Polmoreff was something that needed to happen in this game, supposedly. Yeah, he's got that weird recolor on it. And uh, we'll put the classic arcade uh, name for whenever you finish with one of these. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is a Metallica stand in Part 5. They make that joke in the Abridged series as well when they're naming Star Platinum. And he names wow. him like a Final Fantasy VII character, but there's not enough characters to put in Super Mega Ultra Ninja Galvatron Deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Kakyoin asks, so when did a stand name start getting less crappy? Around part five. It's like, what makes you say that? How does the stand name Metallica sound? Awesome. <laughs> oh, Christ. Alright then, uh, let's see who's actually available in story mode. There is a pet shop story, in actual fact. Okay, pet shop. Yep. Yay! Uh, we okay. should also have who? Dio as well, I believe. Yep, there's Dio. Yeah. Okay, who else is there to pick from? There's so, also Shadow no. Dio, Khan, New Kakyoin, Whole Horse and Voin, Rubber Soul. Yeah, that was it, Rubber Soul. You've got Jojo from part two. So yeah, there's some hidden characters if you uh, go into a certain part of the screen. Oh, cool. So, guys, if you want to get forty dollars in, and you can pick the fourth one that we'll go through. All right, let's go with Pet Shop for now, then. You alone can influence the future. Let's see some Pet Shop action. Oh okay, yeah, watch the JoJo's Bizarre Adventures of Bridge series if you haven't already. It is actually pretty damn amazing. I'm not sure how many fights he actually gets all pet shop, but uh, let's see what we got. Uh, ice bullet, ice cool break, ice lamp, oh, he's... kill freeze, death freeze, uh, frost missiles. I think frost missiles is like the cheap one that he does. And then you got uh... giga frost missiles and death penalty. And then terminal lock on, light punch, light punch, forward, medium, heavy. Oh shit, that sounds metal as fuck. Alright, let's see if we can, uh... Axel says, Volk, just smash buttons. <laughs> to be fair, it is pet shop. <laughs> so I barely know any of his stuff, so uh, I'm kind of winging it a bit here. Why is his name Pet Shop? Uh, I'm not entirely really sure, to be honest with you. But I think it is meant to be a play on Pet Shop. Oh, are they all like named? That's why they're all named after music. Uh, it was only until it was only from part three onwards that they were sort of named after bands and things like that. Well, I mean, it's a lot of the characters from earlier parts were as well, weren't they? Like, uh, you know, you had oh, EO Speedwagon. <laughs> so Not we, even uh... the mighty Speedwagon knows <laughs> what he's doing in this game. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> By the way, dubbed Speedwagon is the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> oh, what's it sound like? Pretty much like that. <laughs> ah, <laughs> what I just dope. did there was pretty much his dubbed voice. Um, oh, oh yeah, we also had like Zapelli after the Zeppelin. 
Like, one thing that I think is cool is that Zapelli's theme in All Star Battle it seems to sample a little bit of Kashmir. I think, yeah, I think it could be right there. Damn. Like, okay, getting used to this guy is uh, taking a little while, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Because, like, I've noticed a handful of songs from both uh, All Star Battle and Eyes of Heaven do tend to get a little bit creative with boring with some other songs. Like, the, I played Yoshika Kikira's uh, theme in the pre-stream earlier, and that has a few notes of Killer Queen at the start. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen this done around the time that part 4 happened, just so we could get Killer Queen in that. Oh yeah, that could be That cool. would have been amazing. But then again, we got All-Star Battle now. Yeah, All-Star Battle, like, I've played that, like, it's okay. It's not the it, best game in the world, but for what it, it accomplishes, what it does, which is just like basically JoJo lore, and actually makes it interesting in that regard. Well, I do think the story is too lightweight for what it's trying to do. Like, it kind of takes a lot of the drama out of it, given that it's like mostly text story. Yeah, um, Eyes of Heaven do act does actually go some way into fixing that. Yeah, I've seen some spoilers from that, and some of it does seem like full-on fanfiction wankery. Yeah, pretty much. But Eyes of Heaven is amazing if you want a more story-driven JoJo fighting game. I probably should play that at some point. Oh, I'd recommend it. It's actually really, really good. <laughs> and my dad's in it. Okay. Someone said that in the chat. Yeah. Always oh, named Giov Giovanna Kirono. That's cool. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get. It. I get it. Suddenly getting my ass kicked. Axel, don't you work in a call center? That's like as far away from Mafia as possible. Got him! You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite a victory thing. Alright, so there's apparently more than one fight. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that other guy, there was a Japanese-only adaptation of Phantom Blood. I don't think there was ever anything for part two. There's a lot of stuff for part three, uh, obviously, but I think there was a Japanese only game for part five as well. And now we're starting to experience some of the cheapness here of a pet shop. Mm. Seems like you got him down there. Uh, no, I don't think there are any games for part four, at least off the top of my head. Uh, no, I mean, not at least until they got to uh, Eyes of Heaven and All Star Battles, certainly. Well, yeah, but they cover everything, so. Yeah. Although, Did they, cover, you... they cover part eight as well, don't they? Uh, All Star Battle. Sort of like you yeah, play because it was pretty Joe's much newly game, released but... at that point, wasn't it? Yeah. So they think they managed yeah. to include one or two characters. Well, you play as part of Joe Scape, but it's just a boss rush of the other JoJo's. Yeah. Ah! Caught him off guard. Not that way. Yeah, but her pet shop is cheap as fuck. I'm just watching you completely <laughs> fuck him into a corner. <laughs> now you know why he's banned in tournaments. <laughs> it ain't Falco, it's something far worse. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's see if we can get the uh, super finish on him. Yeah, there we go. There you go, if anyone want to get that $40 donation in? Oh, that wind oh, poke is pretty cool with the stand behind him, he's all perched on there and shit, that's <laughs> kind of awesome. Yeah, oh yeah. Alright, now we got now it's chicken versus chicken. <laughs> chicken! I found that the only way to cook a chicken is to burn it. Apparently <laughs> there was a JoJo mobile game. There was? Is it like a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle or something? 
I haven't got a clue, but Axel says that it's Japanese only, but... Uh. Did Bonoff just punch a bird? <laughs> yes. Who just does that? Who just punches a bird? Yeah, cute little bird Oh no, I'm the one who's being <laughs> fucked in a corner. Let me out! <laughs> this is karma, bitch. Yeah. Well, I, you know what it is, though. Ice is weak to fire. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's played his Pokemon. Right, I'm getting far away as I can. Oh, apparently this mobile game that Axel's just linked to, it covers the first four parts. Huh. It Bad. looks a bit shit, but it's a mobile game, so I'm not sure why I'm surprised there. Well, I mean, you can not have good mobile games. Just uh, <laughs> relatively few and far between. And you have to play them on a fucking mobile. <laughs> or there's like one of those free-to-play games that co actually cost like a million quid to actually get anywhere in. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know a game's great when a benefit that they consider worth paying for is being able to skip the game. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Magician's Red, leave me alone. Ah, have some of that. There's a couple of Sonic games I wish I could get that for. Uh. Ah, got uh, it! Fake... <laughs> right, prototype gear, Fake Grand Order. I don't really know much about that game. I saw a friend of mine stream a bit of it a while ago. It looks kind of... like I didn't like the art style, that's what I can say about that. I'm going to have to go back to easy mode because this is way too difficult. I see. It's not my fault. Robotic is hard. <laughs> oh, uh, damn! Well, actually, I'm stuck on Starman. Uh, uh says, when you start Jojo, you become gay. That's all I can say. Uh, says yeah, the thanks. guy with the curly hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. What would happen uh, to me since I'm already gay? Um, you get gayer. Is that even possible? <laughs> All yes. right. Okay, Snake is about, he's getting something to eat. So, Tom said like about 40 minutes or so. Uh, 40 minutes? Okay. Well, yeah, if we're so lucky, we'll... I think if we're lucky, we should be able to do Pet Shop and then we might be able to show off at least a little bit of the yeah, if you I will, do, if it, I can at least get the road roller off, I will consider yeah. that enough. Well, if you play through Pet Shop and Dio's, and then if we get a forty dollar donation, then we will play uh, whichever character the person chooses. Sounds Come good on, to guys, me. let's get forty dollars in. Come on, guys. Ah. Oh, damn it. Now, there is one disadvantage to having a standout like that, and that is that you leave yourself vulnerable. Yeah, because that kind of opens up your hitbox a bit more, doesn't it? Yeah, well, essentially, you get two, you'll, you become two hitboxes. Well, but it yeah. does allow some <laughs> really, really fancy cross ups. Bring some of those <laughs> I don't know whether this QA no person in the chat has made this account just to, you know, roleplay right now or if it's their usual username. And I am happy to accept it either way. Ah, damn it, this guy's all up in my house. Get out of my house! <laughs> ah, that's the stuff. Oh, like Pet Shop's house was, you know, the Cairo, the Cairo Castle there. No, his actual house is a Dr. Zipbag's Transylvanian Pet Shop. <laughs> uh, where were we at? <laughs> it was like a really, really, really old TV program. Like, I'd wager nobody knows what it is, maybe, except for me. <laughs> I just remember it because of the theme song. 
pub, I want a VR game where you play as Kira and just boom, boom, people in the street. <laughs> <laughs> just a VR game, you just touch things and you just go, Killer Queen has already touched that, whatever it is. Boom! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's the littlest pet shop. <laughs> oh, that I remember as well. Hello, uh, littlest pet shop. Of course you do. The newest, the new series that was airing with My Little Pony was pretty good. It's a shame they cancelled it. Yeah. But of course, My Little Pony gets to go on for like seven million seasons. Let them milk those uh, uh, J or H N B ors to get it right. J or H N B. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I would love to see the part 5 <laughs> anime because they had some really, really wicked stands in that. And also, I just kind of want to see King Crimson. <laughs> just to yeah. see how that gets portrayed in the anime. Oh, it just works. Yep. <laughs> I just remember seeing this really hilarious sketch and it is literally King Crimson stand. <laughs> and it's literally just uh, King Crimson with a Capricorn and then the little face on the top of his forehead is also has its own little cap. Okay. <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> it, it, it looks really, he looks really angry as well when he's drinking the Capri Sun. It's just like that aggressive Capri Sun drinking. I want a part five anime for the moment where Bizarre he licks Cure. No. Lick. <laughs> Please don't say milk and then mention ponies soon after. <laughs> no, you got to say it like really, really inappropriately. You have to go. Milk. <laughs> yes. Ah, eat shit, cack you ain't, you ain't nothing. <laughs> you ain't nothing. I like a burb. Burbs are milk. nice. Though. Pet shop's best burb. All right, now we gotta take on the old man. All right. All right, we have learned the cheap pet shop tactics now, so we should be fine. Freeze and make sure icicles out. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> if pet shop was in Animal Crossing, I'd advise moving to another town. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Probably not a bad idea. Okay, here's a question. Could Pet Shop beat the rat from part 4? I'd like to think so. Yeah, I reckon he could. Especially if we're talking about this version of Pet Shop right here. Yeah, this version of Pet Shop that just freezes you then pounds on you. How did he kill me? Oh shit, you got him behind me! Get over here! Go on, pet shop, do the damage. Oh, we almost had it. Oh, there we go. Like a speeding bullet. Right, now we're in the air, we can just do whatever the hell we want. <laughs> I want Jaro to throw his balls at Johnny, his real balls, and then it's the gay pride kappa. <laughs> well, the um, part two Joseph, he has his bowlers, so I suppose you could toss balls that way. Uh, but does it go? Does it go deep? Balls deep? <laughs> well, I suppose by default, yes. Uh, uh, how come Pet Shop doesn't have the light blue bar that the enemy has? I suppose um, it's because he's not really pulling out his stand, is it? Well, like he and his stand are kind of synonymous with one another, really. Hmm. It may just be a unique thing for him. It's part of the part of what makes him so broken because you can't really disable his stand at any point. Yeah, like, you can just keep on wailing on the other guy with your ice But at the same him. time, you also can't pull out his stand in the same way as everybody else can. So there is a slight, and I mean slight, disadvantage. Which are basically <laughs> nullified by nothing. everything else Pet Shop does. No, Pet Shop is gonna fucking win no matter what. <laughs> Pet shop stand is like a fucked up ice aerodactyl thing. Yeah. 
Boom! Alright, that's the old man taken care of. I guess now it's just Jotaro now? Yeah, that thing there that he's sitting on, that is his stand, technically. Yeah. Oh, there we go, final episode. Star Platinum! Alright, hopefully this will be just as easy as the others. It's not an ugly stand, it's fucking awesome. It does look awesome, but compared to the others, it isn't exactly much to look at, let's face it. Yeah, it doesn't need to be. No, I agree. Ooh, that's some damage. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell in my voice, but I'm quite tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a pretty long day. I'm just uh, glad Parappa went as well as it did. It just mm. makes me a lot less stressed and I can just relax. And uh, fumbled my way through some Jojo until uh, Snake's ready. Well, now we've got to complete the campaigns we promised. Yeah, we got we got to give him some Dio as well. Yep. Yeah. Go get some Zawaldo action. Oh yeah, I want to try and pull off a Rodol at least once. It just has to yeah. happen. If there was ever a character that can just kill people in style, it's Dio. Like, no question about it. It's Volk. Somebody once told me Zawald was gonna roll me. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Have you seen that fucking video? <laughs> Which one? The Jojo Quad. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I'm going to share it with chat if it's still up on YouTube, because I just need to. Uh, where is it? Oh, there's tons of other stuff. Oh, here it is. Ooh! Okay. Cut him. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, let's make it fairer. $25 and you get to pick the campaign first, like the full form we play through. First person to donate 25 can pick. I got the first dang it flame, which means the video posting has been successful. Hey. Also, Shrek stands a shadow. <laughs> no, I like the one that uh, somebody once told me thing that I remember seeing is the one where it like plays at double speed and the entire thing is just basically Shrek's quest for a new toilet door. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I haven't seen that. Oh, you should. It's quite amazing. The swamp. <laughs> the swamp. Oh, oh wow, we actually perfected a bitch. Nice. <laughs> and it's fucking Jaro, I know. <laughs> Get to atomize Swampo. <laughs> I can't do the fucking voice on the one. <laughs> Has now achieved the honor of defeating Jotaro and company. <laughs> Holy shit, Pet Shop's profile at the end of that fight just then. That's like a ridiculously high res, very human faced looking Pet <laughs> Shop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Dio's up next. Indeed he is. Game over. Uh it miss it retrans it reconfigures ass to say cap. <laughs> How dare you, Capcom! You deny me. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Next next time we'll get him. We'll figure out a way around that. Get you next time. I'll get you next time, Capcom. Uh, Wait, it, re it renames ass to Cap? Yes, as in Capcom. Makes sense, considering... Right. It's Dio time! We gotta go with the classic colours. Kinda have to, really, don't you? They're so iconic. Indeed. Dio is ready to put an end to his bloody conflict with the Joe Stars. Text moves by a bit too quick. Uh, 
Uh, I just noticed Ice has a bit of a wicked bulge going on right there. My god. Holy shit. The, the pink outfit. It's not like you can turn ice. away from it either. Not only is it in pink, but it's also literally <laughs> zoomed in on the damn thing. Uh. Ugh, hold on. Let me just adjust myself because I have somehow put myself in a very awkward seating position. I know when that happens. I it's like you don't even you don't even notice it's happening before you know it. You've tucked your legs behind your ass and they're just kind of like <laughs> kneeling on your chair for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. always do it, and I'm just like, wait, how the fuck did this happen? Uh, Tom says if there's no takers for the twenty-five dollar donation, uh, we'll just move straight on to X5. That's yeah. fine by me. Whichever happens, happens. So guys, if you want to see more JoJo than intended, uh, donate some twenty-five dollars and. Uh, You'll get to see your character of choice. I Obviously, don't know we've already about... done Jojo and Pet Shop. Yeah. Uh, Mia, are you good to cover X5 just in terms of Kokom? Because yeah. I'm probably going to need to drop out. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'll stick around for the rest of uh, Jojo because I can. Oh, so we go first up against Avatar. Yep. He didn't actually fire him, though, did he? No, he didn't. Alright, so yeah. we got the standard Blazing Fist. We got Stingy Eyes, which I'm assuming is his uh, laser attack. So that's forward, heavy, medium, light, forward. Uh, the world is Dragon Punch and A. Uh, stop time, forward, heavy, light, forward, stand. Alright, so it's heavy light instead of medium light. And you got uh, the road roller, which is quarter circle back and two punches. Okay. I know now what I must do. Somewhat. I gotta see if I can make this happen. Yeah, Tom, I know Pet Shop never fought anyone other than Iggy, but like, yeah, you know, it's got a bit more weight into it. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. I'm kind of fucking wank at fighting games and all, mate. <laughs> I'm just really not attentive enough. Like, uh, bad attentiveness tied with slow reaction times. Not really my kind of game. But gotta go fast. Yeah, gotta go fast. Fast you can do. Faster, 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 faster. Go, 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 go. Yes. Also, no worries, Tom. I saw you said thank you in the chat, so thank. It's all right. X5 is one of the ones I was looking forward to, so. It's a game I like. Hold on a second. Ooh. That was a meaty looking punch. I can't replicate that. Oh, there we go. Alright, now. <laughs> can we get the wordo going? Yeah. Folk, you're getting green texted in the chat. You might want to step up your game. <laughs> oh, I wanted to get the bloody road roller out, but it wouldn't let me have it. <laughs> uh. When, how long is left with this? Well, uh, to the end of end the of story. Years. And Unless the someone donates 25, in which case we'll add another story in. So, 10 minutes? Mm, not sure. It takes as long as it takes. Yeah, yeah, I get, yeah. Yeah, Tom, you can't really get yes! snarky about Magician Dread when you picked fucking Magician Dread over a Sceptile. Alright, can I'm we get the road roller? That. Oh, I was hoping to get the road roller finished, but this will do. Uh, I, I got to see the steamroller. I'm, I'm hyped. Hell yeah. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No. So I'm coming to that level of realisation that I'm still being a petty little bitch about stuff from 2015. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, someone 
instead of picking for the Omega Ruby playthrough, instead of picking the superior star Sceptile, went with fucking hairy crutch bird thing, Blaziken, which he called Magician's Red. Ah. Uh, add that to the list as well of uh, Terminal Velocity Part 2 and uh, Dying to Knuckles as Tails. Talk Chick is not bait. Talk Chick's a cool design, but it's nowhere near Trico level. <laughs> God to hell. <laughs> I saw that. Go to hell. Okay, uh... Dio, we get it. You like the steamroller. <laughs> it is very effective. It looks like the fall has a lot of reach on it. I'm trying to see if I can get him to do the re, but I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to. <laughs> I don't go to hell. Hell to you! <laughs> <laughs> I like me politely laughing through the jokes, jokes, jokes you don't get. <laughs> Still kind of weird and wacky. Uh, it is a bit bizarre. Ha ha ha. You see what I did there? <laughs> I do see what you did. Um. You know, do I make the main mate or do I not? Benz, am I that trash? Yes, I am. I hope you like mudkips. Oh my god. <laughs> that was one of my favourite memes back in the day. I don't even care. Like, I seem to recall it being, was it DeviantArt where f on like April Fool's one year they just changed everyone's avatar to mudkip? I think that might have been DeviantArt. I can't remember though. I think it was. It does sound like a DeviantArt thing to do. Yeah, they don't really do fun stuff that much anymore, which is a shame. To be fair, the staff of DeviantArt probably have to put up with enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's have the casual, you know, baby first shit that they have to plow through every time people want to get to actual good <laughs> shit. Like your Pokemon cards? Yeah, the quality stuff. Let's see, how old, how old is my DeviantArt account? Let me check. Fucking 11 years old. I think it's something like that, yeah. That's like the age of the average user. <laughs> <laughs> These days it is. Uh, yep, yeah, my DeviantArt account, it says Deviant for 11 years. Damn, that is a long ass yeah. time. I remember signing up for this illegally because I was under 13 at the time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> illegally. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I remember my first time going on to like a porn site after I turned 18 and being able to not lie <laughs> about you my must have age. Felt so special. I remember lying anyway. Fuck it, it's <laughs> my legitimate birthday is the 1st of January 1970. I was literally <laughs> born on the epoch. <laughs> I was born before the internet. <laughs> Good, you know what the epoch is. Yes, yeah. Good. <laughs> That's true, Q and um, Champion Star Platinum and Pangro is Joe Troy. Right, the thing with Pangro, that is so blatant, that has got to be intention based on Joe Troy. Really slightly uh, referential. I think keeping are calling them Juno, and I'm like, you talk to my cat? <laughs> she is here, she's asleep on my bed. I'll give her a treat in a minute. Good. I wonder what these ones taste like. Don't steal any more of the cat's trays. Ah, oh, son of a bitch dodged it. <laughs> I'll wait and see if the other kitty comes in. Which he probably will at some point since he's lazy. Is Kukuin deflecting the knives or has he just got a similar looking attack? No, he's got a similar looking attack. He just jumped over them when I tried to do it the first time. No, I felt like. He tried to punch the road roller. That is incredibly stupid of you, Cat Kill. I thought you were smarter than that. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, I think I may have gave you too much credit. Cat and Sprite in this just looks off. Oh, uh, was that meant to be Emerald Splash? Yep. Oh, there we go. That's why. I guess it is kind of fitting that we're playing this game, at least because it's a Capcom game on the PS1. <laughs> Indeed. 
What year did this originally come out? Uh, sometime in the 1990s, like 95, 97, something like that. Ah, cool. Was it can you call this Heretics for the Future, man? Yeah. Heretics for the Future, Wikipedia. Because I know we did sort of, you know, use a bit of creative liberty here, given this was originally a multi-plat, but the remaster is, you know, is a PS3 version of the remaster. But, you know. Holy <laughs> shit, I got a four combo. <laughs> that looks so terrible. <laughs> I got a... I just got a four combo in Mean Bean Machine. I'm sorry, I love this game mm. way too much. Here we go, to simulate him being punched over to a building, we're just going to zoom out the sprite. <laughs> <laughs> it well, will be was... completely convincing, trust me. Well, I've got to say, the thing with, like, Kakuing leaving the clue, that is fucking hype. Yeah, that was a really cool moment. I need to get a purple. I did actually like the OV OVA voice actor for Dio. I still need to watch that. It's worth it just to hear the voice actor for Dio mostly. I think he nailed the role personally. Ah, uh, right. Am I the only one who likes the OVA voice actor for Dr. Eggman? Uh, he was alright. I thought he was cool. I thought he did a good, like, for classic Eggman anyway. That's how I always imagined Eggman talking. As a, like, classic Eggman anyway. If I'll quick version of Part 3, you prefer OVA or the uh, new anime? The new one definitely wins points where it counts for the most part. Although the OVA will, I would say the OVA does give me a soft spot because it was how I first got introduced to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure many a year ago. And it wouldn't be yeah. until many, many years later until I'd figure out the significance of it. Fairly. I, uh... Oh my god! <laughs> I gotta try, uh, right into it. Yes, you do. But yes, anybody who uh, hasn't watched the Abrus series either, I highly recommend that too. It is I'll, literally pretty damn funny. I'll probably be a scrub and watch the dub. Sham. <laughs> I don't care, I prefer... I don't like reading. Fucking normie. Free. I'm not a normie. Yeah, normie's free. How am I a normie? <laughs> You watch the dub. Yeah, but like I'm the most degenerate person you probably know. No, we can be degenerates too. Uh, no, I think there's a sort of thing where the Japanese version is like so great. I think people should generally watch the Japanese one. Oh, I was hoping you'd give it a re there, like, but I can, apparently not. I <laughs> could, like I can watch the Japanese version after, so I'll at least know what's going on. Mm. Yeah, that's what it is, but. Awesome no, sauce! Free. No, don't. Hanukkah from the, uh, Hanukkah from the dub is weird. That dub is, as a whole is terrible, but then it's an English I, dub, so of course I, it's terrible. I didn't dislike it, but uh, I can see... It's an English dub, it's terrible. Like, that kind of goes without saying. Has Orimo been dubbed? Oh, yeah, man. No, I don't think so. Aha, you have locked my steamroller. How dare you? I don't see how you could have any trouble localizing that concept. That's not, you know, <laughs> go tangential on yet another stream. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, not quite. Nearly done, though. No. Oh, punched him in the dick. <laughs> you seem to have a thing for just punching people in the dick. <laughs> I'm gonna stay the fuck away from you, Volk. I hope you realise that. Don't worry, I can assure you that my dick punches will be kept towards fighting games exclusively. Thank Christ for that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not that sadistic. <laughs> uh... Reminds me of a tamer version of my Half-Life LP where I shot all the soldiers in the dick that I could. <laughs> mm. Except that was me being cringy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, so we get interrupted in our fight with uh, Jotaro to fight Polnareff. Cool. Let's see if I can sort of weather this. Oh. Shit. It looks like you're giving him key fight beating. Like, I take it he's not as OP as uh, Pet Shop, but Definitely he looks not. like. Although Polnareff can be pretty damn good. Yeah. All right, let's see. <laughs> nice. If you can get a maximum bar, you can actually stack about three lots of daggers, drop the road roller on him, and then that ends in something like a ridiculous combo. Like hundred <laughs> nearly a hundred hits or so. It's pretty damn hype if you can pull it off. <laughs> nice. <sighs> There we go, final episode. We get our proper showdown with Star Platinum now. Cool. That was a cheap shot. In that cutscene just said. Hmm. Well, it was the point in the, the anime where he literally just gets clocked in the head. So mm. hard it breaks his skull. Guys, absolute last chance to possibly get another campaign. Otherwise, we'll be going straight to X5 with Samurai Snake, who I believe is probably going to be ready for soon. Ah, oh, my face! Oh my god, this dude has gone a lot stronger. <laughs> I hate Patrick. Even on easy mode, he's annoying. Oh yeah, I remember Patrick in that game. Even though he blatantly isn't Patrick, he's actually Squeeze. I uh, actually hex edited uh, a version of the ROM to make him Patrick. Of course. <laughs> I also made Robotnik say Pingus. <laughs> oh, why is he giving me the road roller? Explain yourself, Dio. <laughs> there we go. Ha! Muddy your way out of this, bitch! Ah, uh, this the Ow, same my face. The same roller attack is basically at the epitome of there ain't no kill right over there, right there. Hopefully this kills him. Yes! <laughs> okay, Volk. Favorite Jojo OP. Uh probably either Stand Proud or uh Bloody Stream. Yeah, great days for me. Yeah, that was pretty damn good too. Oh, Enders of Wilder. Yeah, uh, Sonic Junior Kiko. Kyoku, is it? I can't talk. I'll just start talking words, but Enders of Wild, that's a good song. Can we finish it with this? Yes, we can. An oil tanker for you! Because he actually throws an oil tanker at him in the uh, OVA. Mm. There we go. And we have officially ended the world as Dio. Huh? Bad end. <laughs> Seems like an okay end to me. <laughs> And uh, yeah, soon the yeah. Dio takes over the world. <laughs> mm. Absolute fear will dominate over everyone and everything, all before the sun can rise again. <laughs> uh. Okay, that was highly enjoyable. I don't know about you guys, but for something that went unplanned, I had a good, yeah. I had a, I had a fun time. 
That was a good time. Even if I am completely half asleep now, like, <laughs> you know, it's a fun stream. <laughs> You're a real trooper, okay. Flame. I highly appreciate you uh, swinging by yeah. for this one. All right, I mean, um, is Samurai Snake ready now, then? Uh, Snake says he's on standby, so, yeah, Fog, you right. to sign us off, and we'll let Snake take over. All right, we're going to be off, then. We've bought enough time for our boy Snake to get ready with X5, so that will be coming up next. But uh, thank you for joining us on this unplanned stream. Hopefully you all had a fun time. I know I sure did. And uh, thank you very much to Flame and Mia for joining me. It was a great no pleasure worries. to have you both here. But uh, that's it. I'm going to be out, and uh, Samurai Snake will be on shortly with Mega Man X5.